do well to speak up if you've got issues concerning you. Yeah. Don't keep to yourself. No. People are dying because they've kept things to themselves and they can no longer cope. Yeah. You are not alone. Hello guys, welcome again to another exciting episode on your favorite podcast in the whole wide world. It's Frances and Fifi. This is FNF Catchy Dialogues. Yeah, and it's good to have you guys back. Great to have you guys. What's on the table today, guy? So, today we are talking about a very sensitive issue. Yeah. I think this conversation um, is as a result of... um, something we saw online within the week so basically what we're going to discuss is some of the realities that comes with being a man the the social expectations the responsibility it's 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 not easy being a man it's not not at all from being a boy to becoming a man we are we are still a youth but so you get to be an old man yeah the things you would have gone through personally <laughs> and then adopted ones it's 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 crazy yeah it's crazy so before we get into it guys if this is the first time you are seeing us please do well to subscribe like comment and share and to our returning subscribers we are super grateful for coming back to us so it's a if being born as a male into the world is a disadvantage the male gender our gender it's i think when when the lord created adam yeah because god had a reason why he created a man first before yeah. a woman so the man is like you have to pave the way you have to break down the the barriers you have to make the way soft for the woman that's that's how i i, I can describe it yeah and, and yeah I, it's it's not just about the woman it's about societal expectations yeah your own individual yeah. expectations yeah. what parents are expecting from you yeah. if you've got younger siblings they yeah. are looking up to you workplace relationships yeah. so yeah God. but but <laughs> if you are born as a man you are you are born for hard work you are born for struggle there's there's nothing easy about being a man there's nothing easy you don't expect soft life because if you're a boy and you've got elder sisters when there's a problem you have to stand up like show your masculine yeah uh, yeah prowess you know irrespective of how old you are even if you are the youngest and you've got all females ahead of you you still have to act uh, act like a man you know i'm leaving you with the, your sisters that's what our parents you say. know i'm leaving yeah. you with your sisters even if you've got <laughs> older siblings right and then when you become the husband uh, your your wife your children are in your care spiritually financially fiscally no matter how much the woman ends you are still people still look up to you your wife still looks up to you to be a man to act as the head of the family right and then when so i i sort of understand why there are lots of leadership positions mm. where m- men are in control not because men are trying to take advantage or they're trying to be um how, how how would i say it they're trying to be selfish to claim all the power to themselves but it's it's in our nature to be at the forefront of things yeah understand yeah as much as we encourage ladies to also join up because god created them as helpers but you have to stand up absolutely you, do, you, you don't wait for someone to do it you, you have to do it yeah yeah and i think there's this misconception that you know men are born to endure pain go through difficult things yes. that, like we are some superhuman beings yeah but, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah but yeah. that's not it so, so in in our local dialect they said you, you are not expected to cry when when you cry as a man you are seen to be weak but that is what kills so many people so many men committing suicide so many people go how what's the ratio of men to women in psychiatric hospitals crazy yeah and for most most of the reasons why people uh, men are there in these psychiatric hospitals in prisons they are just trivial things things that 
if they had voiced out to someone or if they had got people to listen to them and they weren't judged to be weak mm-hmm. it would have been easily resolved and they wouldn't have gone into that situation but society won't allow you to so so up. talking of there's uh, i'm going to use myself an example yeah. um i remember when i came to the uk so before yeah. i left the uk mm-hmm. my dad wasn't feeling great yeah. and then i came into the uk yeah exactly a week after i go into the uk my dad passed that's crazy yeah and, i remember that and and i had time yeah i had my oski exam mm-hmm. so i woke up that morning mm-hmm. had the news that my dad was dead and i had to go for an oski class can you imagine so i just brushed it aside just went for the oski yeah. class pretended as if nothing, nothing has happened. happened yeah and then you keep this emotion inside of you with i was fortunate yeah. to have you guys around to talk yeah. to to console me yeah. and all that but there are people who like to keep to themselves yeah they don't want to show any sign of weakness they want mm. to show that i am strong yeah. they want to show that you can do things alone but these are the things that will break you yeah yeah if you're a man if you're broke open up to someone to give yeah. you some assistance yeah if you're going through relationship issues and you know talking of relationships like bro it's 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 as if being a man is a yeah. disadvantage yeah like yeah. you expected to have to provide yeah oh I, I think i don't know if it's religion if it's tradition if it's culture i don't know but if you're a man you don't have to complain you have to just show up you have to be there you have to perform whether or not you 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 can actually do it you know and it's 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 very hard it it's is very hard you know over the last few weeks just the day we started our first video yeah we we went through a hard time you know the time that we had to sleep that day it was crazy lots of things and if you were someone you wouldn't even get the courage to come and sit here to do a video but we had to show up yeah and pretend yeah, as if nothing, nothing has, has happened. happened and had it not been that we are mentioning now, which we are not going to go into details in a way, nobody will know that this, something like this, this is has what happened, has happened. It's very serious. It's something that only a few people will be able to just brush aside and move move on with daily yeah. life. And yeah. I think talking of brushing aside, I feel like it's it's about time men accept that they are human. They yeah. are not some supreme beings and be able to seek support, seek help. I, I think do you know one problem there are people on social media that try to speak about being the alpha male and you know that perception yeah makes people that try to voice out their emotions or speak up as men or try to seek support look feeble look weak and look like they are feminine in a way which is not acceptable a man shouldn't always be be that person that always has to go about always has to i don't know i don't know that perception or what that requirement is i don't know who created that law, uh, law or norm but yeah i think we we are humans also and yeah there's there's an extent to which every person can go irrespective of your gender and when you reach that breaking limit you have to take some time for yourself and if you want to cry cry yeah absolutely i i yeah. i i when when I was going through that time when my dad was dead and all that and I was imagine the pain of not being able to attend the funeral. Yeah. Yeah? I, I the last imagine. time I saw my dad, he was alive. I yeah. touched him, I spoke to him. Mm-hmm. And the next time I probably will go to Ghana. I'm not going to see him. I'm no. just going to see a graveyard. Yeah. Bro, it is difficult. It's difficult. When you're a man, you're you're being compared to your friends. Oh, yeah. look at this friend of yours. Yeah. He's doing that. Yeah. He's doing that. Look at you. Yeah. You you struggle with finding a job after yeah. school. It's and then difficult. you've got a relationship yeah. where the lady is on your neck to provide. Yeah. If you don't have money now, you can't even go out as a man. No. No. And ladies, we, we also need support. We also need care. We also need... It's not always that the lady has to be pumped. Men need pumping too we need pampering too we need that emotional support we can't always be strong you can't always be strong you know growing up i went through a very big challenge because 
people thought I was very timid, very because it's my nature, you know. Not everybody is created to be that aggressive type. That there are people who are very quiet, yeah, very introverted, introverted. reserved. Yeah, not everybody is an extrovert, right? But I just had to after、uh, senior high school、I、had to take on this challenge to prove, especially my dad wrong because he he thought I was very feeble. I was so dull in a sort of way, right? So I was taking on hard work. I I was doing this work where I was carrying cement bags.、Mm. Like I just wanted to do something strong to let my dad know that yeah, I can be that man.、Mm. And it got to a time that when I'm breathing, <laughs> I could feel the pain in my ribs. Yeah, I said, should I have to do this just to prove someone wrong? <laughs> go go outside my nature, you know?、Uh, uh, there's no point. You die trying to prove a point. And at the end of the day, who are you accountable to apart from yourself? Yeah. So yeah. I, I think we probably should leave some last words out there, guys. If if you if you know a friend, I I think not just guys, but even women should be a part of this movement. Yeah. Call someone. Yeah. A, a male friend, you know. Yeah. And ask him how are you.、Yeah. Give him one minute、yeah. to think about his、yeah. answer, and respond back to you because. I think that the response to "How are you?" has become generic. "How are you? I'm fine." Yeah. But people are really not fine. People are going through things that needs to be addressed. People <laughs> so, are going through tough stuff that they need to open so, up. There's this thread that I I I read on X, right? And they were arguing about、uh, women complaining that their men don't wish them Happy International Women's Day, and one lady came to say which. She was trolled like the lady spoke against her very harshly. She said that, "How do you expect a man who, for some reason, doesn't even remember his own birthday, because of the things he's he's going through? How do you expect him to wish you International Women's Day, or if he doesn't wish you International Women's Day, should it be a big problem? For that reason, you should complain so much, and probably some ladies go to the extent of breaking up with their men because of International Women's Day." They don't remember their birthdays. Even some don't remember their daughter's birthday. And you know? and I feel like even for for husbands and for people running families, it is even more difficult because you've got the whole burden of the family、yeah. to deal with. And you've, you've got, got your yourself, family, yourself, your ex- your, your new cla- family, your wife's family. Your wife has got your family <laughs> as well. But you know when when your wife says something, let's say your wife says, "Your baby, I'm pregnant." You know she's happy, or babe, we are getting married. So babe, we are doing our wedding. They think about the glamorous side. You, the man, immediately. You, 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 you know your your moment of happiness is just five seconds, and then the mind starts calculating things. So how how am I going to raise money? How am I going to do this? Your wife is saying, "I want a gown like this," and you are thinking about how to raise that to money to do it. How to afford it? You are thinking about aftermath of. The wedding. And when I、so、want you, diamond you ring,、so、I want that,、yeah. bro. You think so much. And one thing I want to address, or one thing I want to say, yeah. Then we end, is that when a lady supports a man financially, it can be your friend, it can be your fiance, it can be your boyfriend, your husband. Don't see him as irresponsible. Yeah. Giving your man money or buy him a gift. How many men receive gifts from ladies? Some men buy so many gifts for ladies and. They get nothing in return. Some don't even get appreciations, right? And then when a, a lady gives you a penny, she thinks she's taking care of you for the whole for period the whole that you, you've you've been on earth, which is not great. As much as a man can give, when a lady gives, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 equally good. Right. So, guys, we are ending today's episode here, and like I mentioned earlier, men are human. Yeah, we need support, we need love, we need appreciation. And to the men out there, do well to speak up if you've got issues concerning you. Yeah, don't keep to yourself. No, people are dying because they've kept things to themselves and they can no longer cope. Yeah, you are not alone. Not alone. Yeah, at just all times, just know、anyone. that you are not alone. Yeah, and yeah. Think it's it's been a good one, and、yeah. we'll probably end it here. Yeah. So until we see you guys next time, be safe out there, and please share your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't, and share this with 
everyone you know and if you're a lady just let us know in the comment section how you're supporting your man it can be emotionally it can be physically financially spiritually whatever support you think men need or the kind of support if you've, you've done for another meal just let us know and we will read it to other ladies so they can learn from it thank you so much right peace out